Hey everybody, Claire here, and today I'm with my lovely friend Laurel. Hello. <laughs> and she is the amazing baker behind Sweet Laurel, the baking company we are launching together, and I'm so excited about, and woo, it's gonna be great. And today we're doing probably like my favorite, okay, actually, it's a tie. It's between this and the the chocolate, you, wish, yeah. you know me, yeah, the chocolate cake. Um, but I know, it's everyone's favorite, they're the best. And so it's basically very yin and yang, they're completely opposites, but both delicious. And today we're making your amazing blueberry cake with strudel, streusel? Did we ever figure streusel. out? Streusel, okay, <laughs> we Googled it. It is definitely it's streusel. streusel topic. It's a streusel topic. We're not Austrian, we don't know these things. <laughs> But I am so excited about this. It's so simple. Right, it's there, very simple. There's really not that much going on. It's awesome, but it tastes fantastic. Yeah. That's, I'm always surprised. Like, you'll, she'll share her recipes with me, and whenever I look at it, I'm like, that can't be it. Yeah. And that's the thing, is that they're grain-free, they're refined sugar-free. I joke that they're basically a salad, <laughs> which we, we may or may, may or may not be true, but um, regardless, it's filled with really delicious whole ingredients and really good fat and no sugar that makes you spike and go crazy. So I'm super excited about this. Well, walk us through, what do we have in front of us? So we have our most important ingredient, almond flour, a very healthy type of flour, lots of protein in it, good fats. We are using two and a half cups of almond flour. We're gonna mix our almond flour with three-fourths of a teaspoon of baking soda, one-fourth a teaspoon of sea salt. And our wet ingredients mixed in a separate bowl are coconut oil, one-third of a cup, two-thirds of a cup of maple syrup, two tablespoons of vanilla extract. I love that you go big on the vanilla extract. Oh, it's important. You're not messing around. We also have four whole eggs we are going to zest a lemon and add a tablespoon of lemon juice as well. It gives it a really nice lemon blueberry combo. I love that. And then we have, of course, our delicious organic blueberries. Lovely. And how much, how many blueberries? We're using half a cup of blueberries. You can use fresh or frozen. And we also have a strudel top. Oh, that streusel topping. Strusel. We're gonna figure this out by the end of the video, I promise. <laughs> I might be off. Maybe right. that's where it's coming out. Yeah. You basically are real life Maria <laughs> Von Trapp, which is about how I describe her. She's Laurel. That's why I'm trying to call it. <laughs> so what goes into the, um, what we will not yet name, topping? Right, okay, <laughs> so our topping is half a cup of almond flour, one tablespoon of coconut oil melted in one tablespoon, of, one tablespoon of maple syrup. And oh, the other big thing to mention is, yeah, all of our coconut oil is melted. Um, so you just can either do that on the stove top or in the microwave. The easiest one I do is I just um, heat up a pot of boiling water and then I just stick the jar in the boiling water. And it just melts. Yeah, easy. All right, cool. Well, I'm gonna get started on zesting and juicing the lemon for you. Okay. And you can get started on mixing together all the dry ingredients. Okay. Awesome. All right, so I'm just gonna finish this up and then I'll juice it for you. And this is a Meyer lemon from the tree outside. And we love Meyers. Yes. At Sweet Laurel, they're <laughs> favorite. They're the lemon we like to specify. This is very true. Well, mostly because I have a Meyer lemon tree, so whenever Laurel needs lemons, I'm like, well, here's a ton of lemons. I need some lemons. And the lemon tree's been popping lately. Yeah. It's like been going a little hectic. Yeah. I, the last time you guys came over, I'm pretty sure did I, I gave you like two, okay. like okay. two dozen lemons. Yeah. What did you do making with that? I, I've done all sorts of things with the lemons. I use them a lot in our jams, mm -hmm. and then lemon bars, at making lots of blueberry bread with lemon. So about a tablespoon you said? Yes. I feel like the next step for you and I is to get chickens. Yeah. You can't have chickens because of their coyote problem. This is true. There's a, when they would get eaten. When Laurel showed up today, there was a coyote chilling on my driveway. Acting like it, he owned the place. Yeah, and I don't live in nature. We love homemade vanilla extract. It's like a thing. It's just a great way of like saving up vanilla pea pods because they're so expensive. Like buying vanilla beans, it's like I don't want to throw a vanilla bean out. Exactly. So whenever I use one, I literally just chuck it into a, just this perpetual vanilla machine. That's yeah. That's really great. And then we're going to use your zest. And, and so we're going to whisk this together. 
get it all incorporated. I forgot to mention I am currently using my favorite kitchen apparatus. <laughs> this is a mini whisker. And it's like the best for doing this kind of stuff. I love that it's your favorite because it's so like, it's so ladylike. It is, I use it every day. It's a petite whisker. Yeah. The big ones <laughs> just don't cut it. These. Well, I like it cut too because it's purse sized. So you're ready no matter what. <laughs> it was in my purse when I showed up, actually. But we're gonna add our dry ingredients into our wet ingredients. And I'm noticing you're just adding it all in one full swoop. And that's probably part of it because you don't have any gluten in here, so you don't have to worry about overworking the gluten. Right, and, and then the nice thing about grain-free baking, it is so much simpler than real deal baking. Mm -hmm. Being a former real deal baker, I I saw it, you know, it's a lot simpler and it's not as um, finicky. That's true. Once you have a recipe that works, it will consistently work. Streusel, strudel, strudel. Um, we're adding the bit of coconut oil, a little bit of maple syrup, and then just fingertips right. banging it out. Some, it's gonna be kind of like a cookie dough consistency. Okay. And once we put our batter into the mini loaf pans, this makes enough for three mini loaves. We're gonna add the blueberries and just swirl them in. Mm. And then gently place strudel. Strudel. Streusel. It's definitely streusel. Streusel. Maybe. Atop each loaf. The reason I came up with this streusel topping was because I used to always make my husband um, blueberry muffins and like he would always tell me, you have to use all the topping, all the topping. Well, he, he was very topping centric. <laughs> and so I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go overboard with the topping, put lots of it on there. And he, when he tried this for the first time, he was like, is this regular or is this paleo? He had no idea which it was. And then you go like, like, you'll never know until he watches it on YouTube. <laughs> and then he just found out, sorry, Nick. <laughs> it's paleo. It's paleo. <laughs> This is now going to, we'll do the other two, but this is going to bake off for 25 minutes-ish. Right. And when, when you're baking with silicone, you will actually see the, the bread or cake separate from the side. Mm -hmm. And that, that's a pretty good indicator that it's totally right. Yeah. Awesome. All right, cool. Well, into the oven it comes. The blueberry bread is out of the oven. It looks gorgeous. I love the color. The color, the it. smell. All right, I'm going in. I'm having a bite. I can't help myself. The thing I love about this bread is the texture mm. and the moisture. It's like not dry. Oh my gosh, no, it's the opposite of dry. And a lot of people complain like paleo baked goods, mm -hmm. grain free things are dry and nasty. Well, and they just don't taste like what they say they are. Like, you know, you think you're gonna get a cake, you're like, oh cool, cake. And then you just eat it, you're like, this isn't. Ugh. This is not cake. I love the fact that you can tell that you loved baking from the beginning because you carried that love of like delicious cakes and brownies and cookies into paleo. So it actually tastes like what it is. For me, I love this bread because it's the combination of like the strudel topping. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's, it's just something like everyone loves a blueberry streusel bread. And so this one's a, definitely a favorite. I love it. My this. husband loves it, so I love it. <laughs> <laughs> well, exciting news regarding this bread. You can either bake yourself following this recipe, but if you want to also purchase it, it is available on sweetlaurel.com, so you can figure it out. And we have a special giveaway to you guys watching. So go in the comments, tag one of your friends, and then write what your favorite helpful thing to bake is. And we will randomly pick a winner, and then we will send you a lovely note from Sweet Laurel and a lovely loaf for yourself. So say hi to us in the comments. And yeah, if you have any questions about paleo grain-free or sugar-free baking, add them in the comments, and we'll have Laurel back, and she'll answer your questions, and maybe, maybe I'll get to eat something again. <laughs> This was so fun. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate it. This was delicious. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.